Why did you end up deciding to go back to the Philippines mm. when you were in Bali for over a year? Yeah, because at that time, I was already practicing the art of surrender. Because, you know, I told you that my intention for going to Bali in the first place is to heal my anxiety. And one thing that caused my anxiety was wanting to control my surroundings all the time. And would you say you healed it? Like after that year, it was healed? Okay, I would say that healing is a never-ending journey. Oh, that's true. Healing is always coming back into alignment because I'm not gonna say that I'm 100% healed. I cannot because I'm, I'm, I can't say for sure if I'm gonna get distracted or I'm gonna go astray from the path that I'm on. I don't want to get ahead of myself. So, you know, healing and aligning yourself, you have to take it one day at a time. What caused my anxiety was wanting to control everything, you know, and a lot of people want that control. A lot of people want a guarantee that their life will turn out how exactly they expect it to be, right? But then the practicing the art of surrender, that's where the magic comes in. Because surrendering to the divine and knowing that God is in control, then you will have more peace and ease in your life. Mm -hmm. At that time, when even if I was already in Bali for a year, I was practicing the art of surrender and I was like, God, you show me the way. This is my prayer every morning when I, when I do my practice. Mm -hmm. God, please keep enlightening my path. Keep showing me the way. Keep sending me your messages because I am here open to receive. So when ABS-CBN uh, Star Magic tried to uh, get me for a show called Viral Scandal, which is um, airing right now. <laughs> Segway to a promo. Go, promo. <laughs> That's why we're here, right? Arrest that woman! The government is all in the land! Don't be afraid! Stay away from my husband! Arrest him! Why are you waiting for him? And I'm grateful for this show because this show is also a and strong... This show is still airing, yeah. Yes, and it has a strong message about mental health. And again, I was praying to God to bless me with work that aligns with my values. And I am a very strong mental health advocate, so I feel that it was all meant to be. So here's the thing, when you surrender yourself to the mysteries and to the magic of the universe, He will really orchestrate and like mm -hmm. light your path for you, guide you, send you what you need. And you just have to be open to surrender and receive. But you also have to do the work. Because that's what we call in the Philippines, nasa Diyos ang awa, nasa tao ang gawa. Do you know what that means? Yes. Exactly. So this is how we do the work. We do the work on ourselves. We focus okay. on our healing. And then God will guide you if you surrender to His divine plan. So that's why I went home. Because He said, it's time. So when they were getting me for that show, I took it as a sign that it was time for me to go home. Show business is, is really different from mm. the spiritual world. Mm. Now, when I came to the Philippines, mm -hmm. when I started my traveling, I graduated, graduated college, I was in my hippie mode <laughs> and everything, super like love mm. and ego disillusion and everything. Mm -hmm. Then I joined show business. And then all the ego disillusion <laughs> just reversed because now I have to care what I look like. Mm. I have to look good. Mm. Uh, the social hierarchy and showbiz and everything. Have you had tr like trouble with that? You okay. know, the di dichotomy of these two different worlds? Yeah, words? I'll be honest that there was a time where I was thinking, okay, I am so in love with yoga and meditation and this spiritual path that I was thinking of completely stopping and quitting and leaving showbiz. Leaving showbiz. But then... I was like, if I'm practicing the art of surrender and then this offer comes in, these jobs come in, these are blessings, you know? But so you if I did block, leave no, showbiz for a year. Yeah, because of the lockdown. And there wasn't much work anyway during that time, okay. right? And at that time, I could have easily gone into a panic, right? Oh my goodness, I don't have work. I'm not going to get a job or a whatever. Lot of people did that, yeah. But and I know and I feel that and I feel so bad that a lot of people had to go through that. But that's the thing, when you do these practices and you surrender to God's divine plan, everything will be okay. It will be hard. Times will always be hard. Life is hard. So how do we approach it? With positivity, with these practices, with these tools that we can equip ourselves with so that when things get rough, when things get shaky, you know what to return to. You know that center that you can keep coming back to. So for me, when the showbiz offers came and I was like ready to leave, I was like, maybe there is still something here that I need to do. I felt mm -hmm. like it was still part of my purpose and my process to go back to this world and to, to the showbiz world and to actually apply spirituality. Because it's easy to be spiritual in Bali. It's easy to be spiritual in India, in true, the caves. True. But where does the spiritual work happen? 
when you apply it in the real world where you were used to before. In these stressful situations. In these stressful situations. There was a quote by Ram Das where he said, if you think you're so spiritual, go spend a week with your family. Because those are the most comfortable, closest people to you. You get triggered by them easily. And I've experienced True. this. Yeah, you know, coming back here, I would still get into fights, a little bit of arguments here and there, because that's normal. You are still also only human. If you liked what you saw and you want to listen to the full episode, then download Spotify and follow us at Superhuman with Will Dasovich. It's completely free. It's linked below and easy to use.